Hey guys, it's me, the Big B again. Uh, just a follow-up video to me, LG Optimus GT5400 video that I made the other day. Um, I've been quite busy with it and done some quite neat things that I think uh, people who've got this one may be interested in. One, it's now running Froyo 2.2, or the latest stable build, um, with full apps to SD working, and not any of this weird reformatting the SD card to three different partitions and this, that, and to the proper Froyo S uh, apps to SD. Uh, you can have, if I install anything, a uh, couple of games I installed, two, three, four meg a piece. You install them, they go to the phone's memory. You basically go to the application manager, list the stuff, you click on it, and it gives you options just like Froyo. Click to move to phone, click to move to SD card, and it works flawlessly. And it's just a standard formatted FAT32 single partition, 4 gigabyte SD card in there. So it works fine. Um, really, really fast, guys. Really fast. The only thing that doesn't work at the minute is the camera, which doesn't bother us because I don't really use the camera, and the Bluetooth, which they are working on. They will, they will get fixed. Um, but I've got the also the new Air DW, I think it's called Launcher, um, with some really snazzy effects. Um, first lock screen. As you can see you've got multiple slide to unlocks for phone. Sorry, it's gone off again. You've got phone, mute, text messaging. Uh, so I'll unlock the phone. And there you go. It's not not brilliant. I'm sorry, but as you can see, the transitions when I move them, it doesn't just swipe left to right. It animates, and that the all the screens swinging. You can see it animating there just as it things. It shrinks them down. You can have different transitions. You can make it roll in and out. You can make it zoom into the background. You've got about seven different transition effects. And obviously, as you can see, it's really smooth and cool there. So they just flip in, flip out. You've got, um, I'll just wait, look at the buttons. Um, go to different screens just like Froyo does properly. Just like that. Click that and you can go to any screen you want. Um, it's obviously also got, just give us a second, the app straw. When I click it properly, I'm trying to do all this backwards again. It's slightly 3D, so it bends away at the bottom and bends away at the top. Sorry, I'm clicking all sorts here. It's hard to do this when you're working backwards with yourself. There, you can see it bends at the, at the bottom 3D and bends out at the top 3D. But again, you can have iPhone style, um, sliding left to right. You can even have fancy borders around the, all the icons to make them very iPhone-esque if you want. And again, you've got live wallpapers. Um, you've got another handy feature on, on, on this launcher is if you press and hold the button on an icon, you can not only remove it or slide down to the trash can, you can actually uninstall it direct from there. So there, if I've pressed, you can see, again, it's very hard to see, I do apologize for that. But you can see remove, edit, or uninstall. So you can, or you don't have to go into application, you just uninstall it straight from the desktop, which is a really cool feature. Um, also, just have a look. You've got a little screen indicator at the top there. It's very hard to see, but it's basically a little light, a thing to show you which screen you're on. Again, just just uh, a little bit enhanced. It's got some really cool features, guys. And obviously, um, that's just you can get that off the the Android market, or obviously if you've got Apple in it on. Um, I would recommend definitely get getting the new launcher, AWD Launcher X, I think it's called. Um, it's the one that comes with a standard for your um, build that I've got but it was the older version this is the new version with all the transition effects and you can do some really really snazzy stuff you can you can basically alter anything and everything with a phone even theme it um, but as far as the for your build goes I'm really impressed it's really smooth really fast it's got unlocking as standard all you need to do is go again to the app store if you want to buy it or if you don't get Applenet the set CPU um, these phones are standard 600 megahertz. This one's at 806. That's as close as I can get it to 800, and it's been fine. It has never glitched once. So I could probably get it even a bit higher if I wanted. But it's running 800 megahertz. So when the screen's off, it's locked down to 300 just to save a bit of battery. But at full load, 800 megahertz really speeds the phone up nice. I mean, I've got some decent games on there. I've got some decent 3D. Angry Birds runs flawlessly super smooth guys 
Um, I also like the new Froyo keyboard when you're text messaging and things. You get the the new Froyo style, which I'll just knock on here. But it's the one um, that when you're typing gives your examples that run across a little thing here so it'll list all the things that it thinks you might be typing you can tap where the old 2.1 didn't do that again really 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 nice and um, love the keyboard better so basically when they get the the camera working and the bluetooth working which shouldn't be long it's going to be great and um, i found no major bugs everything seems to work fine apart like so obviously the camera and things but as they said it's obviously still in beta and things i've had no problem with it it's worked flawlessly and the biggest plus for me was obviously the apps SD because I, I read into the thing about how on 2.1 you can do this apps SD but you've got to format the card in a certain way and people even when they did that they couldn't get it work and it just wouldn't work properly um, which I did try myself and I couldn't get it to work either properly but this is just standard apps to SD I'll see if I can um, what I'll do is I'll just nip into the menus you basically go into sentence when you can find it and um, go into your applications and then click on application manager or manage applications as it is in here find the program in the list you'll get a big list like that of like everything that's installed so that and go guitar hero I'll click on it I'll show you the screen in a second when it pops up right there again it's very hard to see but basically you've got that one there is moved to phone because I've already got an SD but if it was on the phone that would be moved to SD card and you've got full control you can even clear data clear the cache uninstall it from there proper for your apps to SD running fine without any problems so I wouldn't recommend trying any of those other stupid ones because they have knackered people's SD cards and caused a lot of problems and definitely get this launcher. This launcher is really cool, guys. I love the some of the transitions. I settled on that one because I just like the way it moves. But you can get ones that, like I said, roll it in and out, 3D, all different zoom effects, and that it's it's beautifully smooth, really smooth. Um, and I've had no trouble. They said some people said they had trouble with um, YouTube loading on this, um, which I've not had. I put YouTube on; it works straight away. Everything just seems to work. But uh, minus the camera, but I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks they, they, they fix the problem with the camera and the Bluetooth. But it's not mega important to me. The apps to SD was important because these phones don't have a lot of internal memory, which was a little bit of an issue. But with the overclock, which is fun, whoa, whoa, that really speeds it up, really speeds it up, guys. With that and the apps to SD, I can do without the camera, I really can. Um, if you've got any questions, um, I'll put a link. To the XDA developers website just for this phone to do with putting 2.1 for you on you do need the phone to be already flashed with a, another firmware the 2.1 with fast boot you must have fast boot installed and again if you do a, a Google for that it's a fairly simple procedure I would say if you if you're a noob with the um, Android and flashing be very careful what you're doing but if you half know what you're doing and what you you're sort of talking about, it's a fairly straightforward process. It didn't take me long, and I've got the full recovery image on here, just like I did before in the last video. Um, so you can do an Android backup and put it back to the way it was and things like that. So it's all secure and safe, so you cannot go wrong. And this new Froyo, you just put on via Fastboot. It's just an image file and an update file, boot file. You just flash them both. Didn't take five minutes really. Phone booted up. Froyo 2.2 on it, um, really easy. But like I say, you do need to do a couple of things to get to that point. But it's all on XDA developers website. So I'll do a link to the actual page for the 2.2 Froyo build, and then from there you can find your way um, to getting a, a, f a fast boot enabled ROM on. And just be like I say, be careful what you're doing, guys. Um, I'm going to leave it there. If you've got any questions about it, just drop us a drop us a line and. I'll try and answer them best I can um, and when I can but like I say really worth if you've got one of these phones and you know what you're doing really worth doing really speeds it up that overclocks fantastic the new launcher you can put on whether you're whether you're rooted or not that that launch you can get um, off thing it'll work on rooted on unrooted phones that's just a, an added extra that I've put on which is really nice 
but um, just have a look at the website guys XDA developers and the link I put and have a bit read up on it and I'll keep you informed of any new builds that come out and any interesting stuff on it and I'm going to leave it there because we've hit the 10 minute mark which I like to leave them at so I'll catch you next time guys and any comments just leave them down there and I'll get back to you